It's Denise with Black Ribbon Stitch Studio and today we are here and we're just going to do two things, only two things. The first thing we're going to do is um, go over what I have for you for my 3,000 subscriber uh, and two year YouTube anniversary gifts to you guys because goodness knows without all of you, there is absolutely no way that I could still be doing this. So I, I want to show my appreciation to you and I will be sharing with you what it is that you could possibly win uh, to help me celebrate. And then we are gonna go over my Stitch Mania plans. I don't think it's too over the top, but I don't know. Let's see, let's do it and see what happens. So, for my two year YouTube anniversary and 3000 subscriber milestone, I decided that I wanted to either go big or go home. So I have two gifts that I want to give to you guys. And uh, one is a stitchy gift. Um, and if you've been following me, you'll sort of already have had a sneak peek of that. And the other is a yarny gift. That's right. There will be two different things uh, for you to enter for. The first one I'll do is the stitchy gift. And this is totally courtesy of Back Quarter Shop. And I'm trying not to drop anything. Okay. Courtesy of Back Quarter Shop. And they will be hosting a stitch along for um, Sail Away, which will be a mystery stitch along um, in that you will only receive one portion of the chart each week. And so for that, what I am giving to you is the um, Sail Away DMC Thread Pack the Ada, which I just dropped, hold on, the Ada Fabric Touch of Blue, okay, also the cute, cute, cute Floss Bitties Floss Drops, all right, and this gorgeous enamel needle minder. And that's not all. You get to put it all in your sail away project bag. So yes, the first person, well, the, the winner that I choose will receive all of these goodies. So to enter, I simply want you to use the word Stitch somewhere in your comments and um, I will choose a winner and I will announce the winner of that next week. Please be in the U.S. only. That is what I will be able to ship. Um, and please be over the age of 18. Please do not use the word giveaway or uh, anything like that in the comments. Um, and I will be back next week to announce who the winner of that one is. Now, for my yarny friends, again, if you follow along, you know that one of my very favorite yarns to use for crochet is Premier Sweet Rolls. So I went into my stash to see what I could come up with. And what I have here is sweet rolls. And guys, I don't know why I don't have my glasses on. This is crazy. Oh, that's so much better. Hi. Okay. And the color is Taffy Pop. Very pretty with the blues, yellows, and whites. Taffy Pop. 
and what I'm going to be sending to you is four rolls, four cakes of Premier Sweet Roll Taffy Pop, okay? And so to be considered for this portion of the giveaway, just use the word yarn somewhere in your comments. And again, be over the age of 18. I can only ship this through uh, within the US. Uh, don't use the word giveaway anywhere in your comments and um, use the word yarn in your comment. And you can enter for both if you are like me and you are a stitcher and a crocheter or knitter and would like to win the yarn or the stitchy pack, you could definitely enter for both. Um, and I will announce who the winner is of this giveaway next week. So there's that. And I hope you guys really like these things that I'm planning to give away. Now, now we can get into my Stitch Mania plans. I know a lot of people are not doing Stitch Mania this week, but, and it's um, a lot of it is based on the fact that the actual Stitch Mania group on Facebook will be closing down um, sometime soon. Guys, I have no notes. I cannot tell you when. Um, I'm just going to be winging this, so I hope that we all can um enjoy what i have going on here so i've decided to do nine i've start i'm gonna start nine different projects throughout the month of may um and i'm choosing nine because i thought that i would somehow honor my son at the same time, um, he passed away on May 9th in 2019. And so, of course, May is going to probably be an extra tough month for me. Although, goodness knows, every month is kind of tough uh, without him. But I just want to quote um, Gay Glassby of Gigi Made It who said these words and um, in regards to her own loss. And those words have stuck with me ever since I first heard her say them. And it is that if I let go of the string, I will fall apart. So I'm not going to let go of the string. I am going to use every moment of May to stitch and um, help me to get through it. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm basing it on. That's why I've chosen nine new starts. And so here we go. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I am going to give each project has been assigned a duration so um, I'm not going to simply start a project today and then start another project tomorrow I want to give them a little bit of time and if I've done my math correctly this will take me throughout the entire month of May and so um, let's go ahead and get started the first project that I'm going to be starting, uh, well, first of all, today is April 30th. Um, most likely, this video will not be up until May 1st. So, um, on May 1st, uh, this is the project that I've chosen to start. And it is The New Normal by Long Dog Samplers. Now, you guys know I'm already into a couple of long dog samplers, and I just purchased a, a new one. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. And so what I'm going to be stitching this on 
is, I'm going to stitch it on a 14 count pink Ada, touch of pink, and I'm going to use those cup, those two colors only, at least I think I'm only going to use those two colors, I may sneak another color in um, as I get going, but um, what I'm trying to do is sort of make the new normal a companion piece to pandemic and the way i'm stitching pandemic is on i'm stitching it on a wheat a 28 count wheat lugana and i'm stitching it with various shades of pink and i'm making my own uh very variegation with the pink uh frost so I thought, well, let me do this one on a pink fabric and use sort of brown tones along with it. But of course, I also am stuck on burgundy. So we're going to put some burgundy in there as well. And um, so that's going to be the new normal. And I'm giving myself four days to work on that one. So that is number one. We just close this up because we don't want to lose anything at all. Okay, that's number one. The next one that I'm going to start is going to be a cute chart that was a free download from J Doreen Jones. And it's called Take Life One Stitch at a Time. And here it is. I think this is so, 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 so cute. Um, it looks like a pretty quick stitch. And I'm going to be stitching that on black Ada. Uh, black 14 count Ada. And these are the colors. And I'm sorry, guys, that I don't have the colors out. I'm not really one that uses um, floss rings, at least not at this time. Um, so these are, will be the colors for one stitch at a time. And I think it'll be a quick stitch. And now when I first looked at this, I was giving myself seven days, but, um, seven days is going to make me not able to start all nine. So I rolled it all the way back to two days. So I'm going to be stitching on this for two days. And that is one stitch at a time by Doreen Jones. So that's number two. Number three is going to be ah, if I can get it out. It's going to be Trick or Treat <clears throat> also by Doreen Jones and um, I have it printed out, but it's kind of large, so this is what I can show you this portion of it. Okay, and I'm going to be stitching this on some 18 count oatmeal aider. That was a gift from a viewer, so this came in very handy. Can you see that it's oatmeal? I don't think you really can. But that's, trust me, that's Oatmeal Ada, which I thought was perfect. And I have all of the floss here. Actually, in two little baggies. <laughs> so. Okay, so I think that's number three. Is that right, guys? Okay, number three. Trick or Treat by Doreen Jones. And I'm going to stitch on that for four days. Okay. I'll put that away. I can't wait, guys. This is going to be so cute. Okay. Number four is going to be a chart that I got from uh, one of my Mary Inglebright cross stitch books uh hold on guys my house phone's ringing 
Okay, sorry about that. That's definitely one of the pitfalls about recording my video in this location. But anyway. Um, okay, so it is a Mary Engelbright chart and it's called Naturally Yours. And um, one of the things I like is that there is this version. It says the goal of life is living in agreement with nature. And so there is this version of it. But then there's also this, which says the same thing. The goal of life is living in agreement with nature. And I just thought this was so simple that um, I, I even like it better than the other version. And um, you could probably see in the photo that this was stitched on a lilac fabric. And so lilac's not my favorite color, but I did choose to uh, stitch that on this 32 count Splash Lugana. And that's the one that I showed you guys recently that I got from Twin Peak Primitives. I absolutely love the splashes of pink on that. And I think it's going to look fabulous with this design. So, just trying to put my fabric back in the bag. Um, I have all of the floss here. Again, in my little baggie. And I plan to work on this for two days. So that is my cute Mary Engelbright chart. I'm trying to get them all in, guys. I've got so many charts, as so many of us do. You can imagine it was a little difficult choosing just nine, but I am happy with what I chose. So let's see, do I know what number that was? I really don't, I've lost count. One, two, three, four. So this is five. Five, another very cute small. And this was a free download. Um, and it's called Fortune Cookie. And I'm trying to see who, I don't think I Sorry guys, the interruptions are real. But anyway, I was talking about my number five pick, uh, which is Fortune Cookie. I don't have uh, the uh, name of um, the person who made this chart, but it was part of the Be Well and Stitch effort um, that was made at the beginning of the pandemic and I haven't stitched anything um, from the Be Well effort so I thought this one would be cute um, and again it's it's fortune cookie and it just says Be Well in the fortune and I am going to stitch this on probably a 14 count um scrap because it's very very small and believe it or not guys i think i'm gonna give this one six days um because it's gonna be really interesting to see if um this could be a sap which um we like to say a sap is a start and finish so that'll be interesting that's kind of what I'm going for there. Um, so let's see if that can happen. And it's got, you know, very few flosses involved. I don't know. Let's see if that can happen. So that was number five. On to number six. Number six is, I don't know. Let me open it up and see. Uh, oh, number six is a chart from a book that I have owned for many, many years. 
I'm so glad to be getting these things out, guys, and actually stitching some of this stuff up. Uh, this book was done, I, it looks like it's copyright 1985, and I would not be surprised if I have not had this book since 1985 and not stitched one thing. And the name of it is Fields of Dixie. Bit. And here is the back. And as you can see, um, I hope you can see, uh, there are various uh, scenes of African American life. And so, this is the one I've chosen. Okay, now I can't find it. Hold on. Hold, please. <laughs> okay, I don't want to show you the chart, so maybe that's why I have a tab here. So I can show you. Nope. Okay, we'll do it this way. This is the one that I chose to stitch from this book first. It's, and it says, sharing work and pleasure brings us together. And so, I'm sure you know that uh, Mr. Ribbon is a fisherman. And so, I thought this was a very cute representation of us together. And so, I don't want to call it an anniversary piece because that's too much pressure. But, great symbolism of our marriage, I guess you could say. And so, I'm going to be stitching that on another piece of 32 count Lugana pink splash. But, this one is pink with white splashes on it it's just ah it's just gonna be so cute i can hardly wait i can hardly wait and i am giving myself four days to stitch on this one and let me see the status of my floss there are quite a bit of flosses involved uh but that's okay that i'm sure means you know like a lot of color changing but um, as a general rule, a lot of color changes doesn't really bother me. Um, it's not, you know, quite confetti, but, you know, it's a lot of color changes, and that's okay. So that is number six, I think. Yes, that's number six. And it is from the booklet, Fields of Dixie. Okay, we just have a couple more. Now, number seven is going to be what I considered to be my unicorn chart. Because when I really wanted it, I couldn't find it at all. And that is Autumn Alphabet. Guys, I'm so excited to stitch this finally. Um, hope that I can get it done. <laughs> by Halloween, but you know, we just never know. And this is by Willow Hill Samplings. And I actually was able to get the correct um, fabric, which was very, very important to me. I really wanted to stitch this on 32 count Murky Lugana by Picture This Plus, because I love this fabric. Every time I see this fabric, I just, absolutely love it and so I'm really happy about that and then I uh, went on the hunt for all of the correct flosses and you guys know that I am a DMC girl and so sometimes hunting for overdive flosses can be a little challenging for me but I was able to find them. They are all uh, Gentle Arts colors. And here they are. And I could show them to you again on in front of the fabric. 
Oh, yes. I'm ready for this, guys. I'm ready. I did have to substitute one DMC so far. And um, that's going to be this one. And, guys, there's still one floss that is out of stock everywhere. I think everyone knows about it. I'm going to tell you what it is because I just, I can't find it anywhere. And I have not been able to come up with a suitable substitution. So, this is going to be interesting to see, you know, in the end how I handle it. But it is um, Gentle Arts moss it's nowhere it's nowhere so like i said i don't know i i just don't know yet um how i'm gonna handle that i'll think about it some more when i get to it but i am giving myself six days to stitch this how fun and interesting will it be if this could possibly be another Staff. another start and finish if I could start and finish this in six days I will be ecstatic so that is number seven okay and number eight is a little off the beaten path but I thought I would give it a shot and so I want to do some sewing and I was torn a lot torn between whether I wanted to make a quilt or whether I wanted to make some project bags um, hold on I'm gonna grab some of the fabric that I forgot to add here hold on So you guys may remember when I showed you this fabric that I got from Bat Quarter Shop. Um, it is by Moda and it is uh, by Bonnie and Camille and it's called Sunday Stroll. And um, I was able to get um, a jelly roll, which is kind of, I, I kind of have a thing about jelly rolls. I, I, I love the, the strips of fabric. They're like two and a half inch wide strips. And you get like 40 of them. And um, I really, really, really have a thing for jelly rolls. And so when I ordered this fabric, I also ordered a uh, quilt pattern that I thought was really, really nice. And it's it's definitely made for uh, to use with jelly rolls. And it's called Tea Party uh, by Cluck Cluck Sew. So, I thought that was right up my alley. And so I thought that maybe I would start this quilt. But now, guys, I am still thinking that I'm going to go ahead and try my hand at project bags of course I've never made a project bag before um, and so this is all gonna be new to me but I did get some of the um, the other coordinating fabrics to go with this in order to complete the design and so I've got this fabric which is gonna go sort of with this to make the uh, the main design of it okay and so this is nice I love the words I love that there are words and 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 sewing needles and it's just so us it's so stitchy and then as a background fabric i picked this up which i also thought would coordinate really really well with the jelly roll so all i can tell you guys at this point is to um 
stay tuned and see what it is I'm able to come up with. Uh, now that I have all the fabric in hand that I need, I have some other things, other little notions on the way uh, to, to, to help me try to uh, put something together. But I did want to include sewing in my Stitch Mania because you know that we talk about all kinds of stitches here. So that is number eight on my list to start in May. And now last but certainly not least is another small. Yes, I think that makes a lot of sense. It is the Be Kind Scissor Fob, uh, which is part of the Be Well and Stitch movement. And it is a by, which I thought it said it on the front. Oh, this is by Ivana uh, Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher, here on YouTube. And I'm going to, here it is. Here's the chart. It's Be Kind. That is so adorable. It comes with instructions on how to finish the scissor fob and everything. And I'm going to be stitching that on this 16 count white Ada, which was also um, a gift from a viewer. So, what do you think, guys? I hope that I'm able to actually um, meet my goals uh, for Stitch Mania. I'm very, very excited about it. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, try to post a video at least weekly during uh, May to let you know um, how it's going and um, whether I'm actually meeting my goals or not. <laughs> So stay tuned for that, guys. I will be posting updates on how I'm doing. Um, now, I think that next week, um, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to, don't hold me to it, guys. I don't really know. This is just what's going on. I'm just letting you in on what's going on in my head. I think I'm going to do a regular floss tube next week. I will also be announcing the winners of this week's giveaway as well as the winners from last week's giveaway. So you really don't want to miss that video. Um, there's going to be a lot going on. And at that time, I'll be also updating you on Stitch Mania progress and anything new that has happened. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you're as excited as I am about Stitch Mania. I can't wait to get started. Uh, this is a pretty big endeavor um, for me, so uh, yes, it's very, very exciting. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your weekend, and if all of the planets align and the universe is okay with it, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.